Welcome to Lesson 5 of the Free Anxiety Relief Course. In this lesson, you'll learn the fifth cognitive distortion, jumping to conclusions. This is when you make a negative assumption that is not justified by the facts of the situation. There are two major types of this, mind reading and fortune telling. Mind reading is when you assume that people are mad at you or look down on you in some way, and in general, being worried what other people think about you. This is probably the source of social anxiety. So that's mind reading. Fortune telling is when you predict a negative outcome that is very unlikely and you make decisions based on that prediction. This is like thinking, I know I'm going to fail, so I shouldn't even try. So fortune telling and mind reading are just two aspects of the same distortion. You're jumping to a conclusion that isn't supported by the facts. The key to overcome this is to ask yourself if another person would have the same conclusion given the same facts. That's the key to knowing if you're being rational and objective. Would a reasonable person come to the same conclusion based on the same facts? Let's do some examples. Tommy sees a friend on the street. He waves, but the friend doesn't wave back. Tommy thinks, I guess he's mad at me. Tommy has no facts to support the claim that his friend is mad. It's much more likely that the friend just didn't see him. So this is a clear case of mind reading. What Tommy could think instead is, oh, I guess he didn't see me. Maybe he was on the phone. Let's do another example. Joni is applying for jobs online. She closes the computer and thinks, I know they'll never give me an interview, so I may as well not apply at all. Okay, this one has a lot going on. Joni is fortune-telling by predicting that she won't get an interview. She's overgeneralizing by saying they'll never give her an interview. And it's a little bit of all-or-nothing thinking when she says, I may as well not apply at all. What should Joni think instead? Pause the video and leave a comment with your answer. Okay, here's what I came up with. By applying for the job, I at least have a chance. If I don't apply at all, there is no chance. So when you catch yourself jumping to conclusions, stop and ask, would another person come to the same conclusion as me, given the same facts? In the next lesson, we'll learn the sixth cognitive distortion. It's called magnification. The link to the next lesson is down below. You're over halfway through with the course. You're doing great. Stick with it. And let's all try to have a little more headfulness. Mm -hmm.